All right, well, the full house, not the Tanners, but the lawmakers didn't get much done today. Nothing really, in fact, because, well, Representative Ron Nate of Rexburg used a parliamentary move to try and get a personal bill to get a hearing on the floor. Here's the Cliff Notes version. Representative Nate halted action on the House floor today to get his personal bill. That's House Bill 448 out of the House and Ways Committee and brought it to try to get it to the floor where they could talk about it. That bill would repeal Idaho's grocery tax. A good idea, right? Well, normally bills have to go through a step by step process. Committee introduction, they got public hearings, then debate on the House floor. Personal bills, though, done a little differently. Those are sent to the House and Ways, Com House Ways and Means Committee. And that committee, kind of like a catch all. And they typically don't meet in that committee till toward the end of the session as a way to get bills moving through quickly. But according to Representative Nate, his bill, which he introduced back on January 19th, he says it's being held there by committee chairman Representative Paul Amador. So he attempted to invoke Rule 17 of the House. That allows members to try of the House to try and bring a bill to the floor after the bill has been in committee for at least five days. Nate says Amador is holding the bill in committee and not allowing it to have a hearing. I go through the process and the rules. I go to the committee chair. The committee chairs sometimes have accepted it and put it in their drawer. Sometimes have accepted it, printed it, and then put it in their drawer. Sometimes they don't even accept it. So going through that process of the rules with an earnest attempt to change Idaho law, what is left? The only other option within the rules, which yes, were adopted unanimously, is to submit it as a personal bill. Essentially, Representative Nate is saying Amador is vetoing his bill, even though he doesn't have the power to do that. That power belongs only to the governor. Representative Amador made a motion to keep that bill in committee, while Representative Nate asked it to be debated on the House floor. Lawmakers somewhat split on that idea. And in eight years, I have never once done anything as a personal bill. And I have been turned down by every single chairman in this body on this side and on that side on policy that I believe sincerely that is good. And it sends me back to the drawing board to get more support and make better policy. I, I do not run personal bills for any other reason except I am denied by chairman or the speaker d diverts them to a, a, a different committee. A bill that is introduced as a personal bill, quite frankly, might not be ready for prime time. And they might not get as far along in the process as you would like. It's kind of how that works. And it is a process. And there are actually more than 20 bills waiting for a hearing in the Ways and Means Committee, including McCrossey's, as he mentioned, his Add the Words bill. Remember that? Today's motion passed. Not along party lines, though. 49 to 20, meaning Representative Nate's bill will stay in committee until it eventually, maybe, gets a hearing.